Hey there, Willowbrook. Thanks for doing Daily Devos with us today. We are in 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Paul is writing a letter to the church of Corinth. In the letter, he is discussing issues within the church, maybe behaviors and attitudes that need to be corrected. And when we get to chapter 5, we find him using some rather intense language as he addresses the church. You see, what's happening is within the church of Corinth, there are some rather scandalous sins happening. Sins that would not just upset fellow believers, but would make a pagan blush. And Paul is calling them out on the sin, but not just on the sin. He's actually calling them out on something worse. He's calling them out on letting the sin go, treating the sin as if it's no big deal. Start with me in verse one. It says, it's actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you and of a kind that does not occur even among the pagans. The, the pagans aren't even sinning like they are. A man has his father's wife. And check out verse two. And you are proud. Shouldn't you rather have been filled with grief and have put out of your fellowship the man who did this? Paul is saying, hey, you don't seem to be burdened by the sin that's happening among believers, among other Christians. You are so proud that you are letting it go. He continues in this chapter to give us something that I feel like is so important for us today as believers. And he talks about our job as believers when it comes to judging sin and the temptation for spiritual pride. You see, what has happened in this chapter and what I've seen happen around me, maybe something I've probably been guilty of myself, is that I look at someone who is not in Christ, the Holy Spirit has not come to reside inside them, and I judge their behavior. I expect them to live up to a standard that is ours as believers. At the end of this chapter, it says this, it says in verse 12, it says, what business is it of mine to judge those outside the church? Are you not to judge those inside? God will judge those outside. Expel the wicked man from among you. What Paul is talking about here is that we as believers, before we really get to wound up about the sin in our culture, about the sin in our world and, and the, the lostness, if you will, we need to deal with our own sin. We need to deal with our sin personally. We need to deal with the sin of our fellow believers because we love them. If they are in Christ, they are missing an abundant life that is theirs. If they are walking in a lifestyle of sin and it is prideful, so prideful to judge the sin of someone outside the church who they're not acting like Christians because they're not Christians when we make light of our own sin, of the sins of our brothers and sisters, the, the body of Christ. This is hard teaching. This is teaching, I think, for all of us that we have to do some checking of our spirit, opening up and asking God to examine our hearts and show us places where there's sin living there. And maybe our hearts are eager to judge someone else when we need to deal with sin inside. I hope that this is an encouragement to you, but I hope it's even more a challenge to you because there is so much sweet, abundant living when we align our lives with that of Jesus and everything he wants for us. I hope that you have a happy Wednesday.